Do you? Do you? Huh? What's going on? What's it? Huh? Hey, what's going on? Huh? Hey, what's happening? Huh? Huh? What's going on? Huh? Huh? What's happening? Huh? What's going on? Huh? What's going on? Huh? What's going on? Our stupid reactions. Tune in for the. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. It's up, Corbin. Yeah, I was there. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. It's Thank you both so for some Patreon. Juicy. Follow an official Twitter account. Ring the bell. Notification squad babies. Bango! Today we're reacting to a trailer from Canada. Not our northern brothers. Sweet. But a uh, Cana Canada from uh, India. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Sorry about that. Uh, anyways. Uh, <clears throat> today we're reacting to CC. CC? Yeah, CC. CC. That's a fun name. I thought, CC. I thought you might Corbinize that, but uh, yeah, that's it. C -C. At first I wanted to say titties, but I didn't. Yeah, no, that's not <laughs> it. <laughs> titties. Uh, anyways. Oh, wow. <laughs> I feel like that one's gonna stick. <laughs> Have you seen tit? Anyways. Anyways, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, Fifi is the name of the film. Uh, it is a Canada film set in the Indian district of Mandai, Man, Mandia. Three generations of men react to the death of their 101 year old patriarch. Okay. Interesting. That's an interesting uh, synopsis of a film. That's the film? The film is about these guys reacting to the death of their patriarch? Yeah. That's interesting. Okay. Interesting. I'm interested. Let's go. All right. Ready? Three. Yep. Two. One. Go. Ooh, I like that. Mama. Yenla. You mappa to go now. Yaro. You mappa century go now. Yerke ka vuru ga. Sare vuru. ಬಾಯ್ಬಿಟ್ರೆ <laughs> 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 That looked like a documentary. Are we sure this is not a documentary? Because that, like, everybody everybody in there just looked like a person that, like, you would have seen on the street. Fly on the wall. The last time I saw people like that, especially some of the older characters in there, uh, it reminded me of uh, the, the, the characters in the first, uh, of the first film in the Opu trilogy that we remarked about how 
Satyajit Rai was able to grab people that just looked like they were just, it was a documentary. I agree with you. In a remote village in South India, three generations to direct the death of their grandfather, 101-year-old man. The three storylines intertwined before converging uh, mm. in the final funeral. Interesting. 123 minutes, so just over two hours. Holy cow. And look at all those accolades it got. I know, and one of them was from Francis Ford Coppola. And this looks like a film you would enjoy. 100% Francis Ford Coppola. I'm, I'm super, super interested in this super, movie. Super, super intrigued. Like, yeah, very. That, that this looks like a film that you're just going to watch, and it, it's going to look like you're watching a documentary. Like you're just watching these people interact, which is beautiful. If you can make a film feel that way, like if you can make a film feel like it's not a film, I as a filmmaker, you've done your job is like better than almost anybody. <laughs> yep. Usually, you can tell. Like, oh, this is, this is a movie. But, like, if you can make a movie feel like a documentary. Yes. and, and like, Go on. S say what's in my head. It started out at the very beginning. Say it. Your mom? Is that true? No, no. The title. Oh, titties. We want to see. Titties. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, please don't be offended by it's what we're saying. Just, we have just gone into the toilet. We uh, really... This is your fault, Corbin. That's... Yeah, that's usually how it goes. Uh. <laughs> anyway, as we get back onto the center in the... Yes, 100% I want to see this movie. It looks like it's meritorious of all of its accolades. Um, so I'm, I'm looking at the Bring actors, it and it doesn't look like any of them are actual... Like, have been in, like, anything. So he might have just found people. Well, might have done the... I always say it, you know, other directors have done it, but it's what Sajid Rai was known for. He went for a look, and then the acting came second. And amazingly, he was able to get out of people something magical. Yeah, and that's probably one of the hardest things, because, like, you can do that, but then you also risk people who are <clears throat> actors trying to act. It is a giant... It's a giant gamble... So, like, uh, it could either be beautiful because it, it's just them being them and they're right. not acting because they're just being themselves. Or it could be terrible because you're trying to get non-trained people to act. Right. When, it, when it's one way or the other, it's either going to go horribly wrong or it, like boyhood or it's going to go <laughs> – Remarkably right, like uh, uh, Bria Venetti, if I'm pronouncing her name right, from the Florida Project, who'd never acted in her life, and and Sean Baker, who directed it, saw her on Instagram and said, "I think you're perfect to play the character of the mom in this film," and she was amazing for a first time actor. It won the Palm Springs International Film Festival. Hey, uh, Mumbai. You know what? You know it's upsetting too. Right now would be the Los Angeles International Film Festival. Oh, yeah. We'd have the L.A. Film Festival. We lost the Indian Film Festival that would have happened here in, the, in, in April. And you know who was and, coming to that, but, right? No. Anurag. Anurag. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And Anurag I, was. I remember I believe, that. I believe also in, in – what's his name from uh, Tamasha? In, in Tima? Um, Aliyah, so I, so the I, director? Ali, yeah, director of Tamasha. I believe, uh, I believe they were both coming uh, in L.A., yeah. which was unfortunate because we would have loved to gone and just seen everything, but also just sit down with them and, and talk to them. If I, yeah, and I would, not saying well, and there's we, everything else. Yeah. I, I miss going to movie theaters, and man, do I miss Yankee baseball. I'm just bleh. Well, they would have been losing anyway because they suck, but whatever. Let us know how this film is. Uh, also, recommend more Canada films below. I know we've seen KGF, and I don't think we've seen anything else, unless I'm unless I'm wrong. And um, it's not. We don't have a vendetta against you. No, nope, please. We're getting there. Let us know down below other Canada films. Uh, like, let us know your best actors and their best films. You know what we love? Not like. We love a good big film and like like KGF, obviously. We we actually enjoyed that even though we had some problems with it. And we think there's a place for those. But you know the type of films we love. We love films that are very artistic and the act acting is always first for me. <laughs> always. hundred percent. We like we like good movies. 
Yeah, we like good movies, but that is subjective as well. <laughs> Some people think uh, one film is a good movie, and other people think that film is absolute crap. So, well, those who disagree with us, including you and I, when we disagree with each other, are always wrong. Wait, what? <laughs> Stupid reactions. Tune in for